Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I am Rosinio BJJ, and we are bringing you another BJJ breakdown video. This time, it's featuring Brown Belt Mike, Matt Enforcer Mike, as I like to call him, from the ZR team. And uh, in this video, I'm trying out some new techniques. I'm trying out some new lapel guard shenanigans, so I'm not playing my A game. And uh, without further ado, let's just get into the video and I will break it down for you. So here we're going to slap bump and I'm immediately going to start pulling out Mike's lapel, the left lapel with my right arm, and uh, to set up that lapel guard shenanigans that I was talking about earlier. I do a very, very bad guard pull right here, but I get the shin to shin and I'm able to swing his leg and get into the single leg X position, wrapping the lapel around my leg and picking it up with my right arm. And now I'm taking my left leg and I'm getting into a full X with the... Um, with this uh, lapel grip. This is actually the Anubis guard that I picked up from Ganon Lang and Enter the Tomb, and I wanted to try it out. Uh, as you can see, I tried to come up for the for the sweep, but I wasn't able to, and I lose the lapel, lose the position, and Mike is going to start doing what Big Mike does, which is passing the guard and smashing. So what I'm trying to do here is re recover my guard, get back to a half guard, and start uh, playing that lapel game again. I'm able to get into a half guard position right here, and I'm trying to hook the leg and get into that single leg X position once more, but he's able to step all the way over the guard and uh, start forcing me to get to a turtle position. He's going to run to my back right here and start trying to open up uh, open up the neck and open up the lapels to get uh, a start setting up chokes and start setting up taking the back position right here. As you can see, he's going to roll, but I'm able to stop him from getting the hooks in or any hooks in. And I'm keeping my right leg as high as possible as a feeler for when his right leg tries to come over, as you can see right there, as his right leg tries to come over to uh, get the uh, first hook for the back guard. I'm able to roll back to turtle. And um, but he rolls me back to the back mount position right here and he's able to get one hook in and the other foot uh, is on the hip. He's trying to force that foot in, but I'm really, really trying to make sure that that foot doesn't come in. At least I don't give up the points there and I'm trying to walk around. And I hook his leg and I'm able to get back into a turtle position, but he's able to pull me back into the guard or I'm sorry, into his uh, back attack. He's going to grab the pan grip right here and I'm and get the hook and I'm able to get back to a turtle position, uh, pop the hook free and start working from here. Now, I have a tendency to spend a lot of time in the turtle position instead of using it as a transitional position, and that's something that uh, I'm, I'm trying to work on. But uh, that's what I'm doing here, and it's uh, giving him a chance to set up and uh, figure out how to get rid of uh, my turtle. So here I'm able to roll through and get into a open guard situation. I'm trying to grab that lapel. I'm trying to extend his feet out so I can get that single leg X with the lapel. As you can see, I try to do it again, but he's able to step through. He knows what's going on. He might've got caught with it the first time, but I don't think he's going to fall for that again. Right here, he puts his knee on my chest and he's going for like a X pass, or I'm sorry, a knee cut pass right there. Um, he's I'm able to roll out and get back to the feet. I still have that lapel right there, so I'm going to try to do the same guard pull again, but I do a terrible job I end up going to combat stance and he's able to quickly pull that leg out from under me and uh, get the two points for the sweep right there uh, that was a very terrible way to do it um, I, as you can see I don't really pull guard because I don't like to but that was a very very bad guard pull and it cost me two points right there as you can see he does that back step pass which is something that I like to do he's basically playing the game that I like to smash people and he's got me in a nice side control position right here the arm uh, kind of trapped, uh, doing a good job of putting my head down, and he's going to step over for what I believe is going to be a Kimura. Yep, there it is right there, but I'm able to roll into him and get out of the Kimura, but he's able to still get the Kimura on the other arm and start uh, setting, uh, setting that up. Uh, as you can see here, I'm still kind of on my back. He's not really on my back per se. He's, he's holding on to that Kimura grip and trying to set up, but I'm going to be able to kind of fend that off for as long as possible. I'm trying to keep my uh, hips away from him so he can't get the hook, and I'm trying to turn into him. And w as you can see, as you start to, as I start to roll, I'm able to turn into him and start getting into my tried and true, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is this is what I love to do right here: the pressure passing over under position right here. Uh, I was able to turn that Kimura and back, uh, almost back attack into an advantageous position. As you can, as you can see right there, I messed up on the over under by not. Uh, 
bring his leg uh, closer to the ground to step over and I almost get caught in a triangle, but I'm able to keep my posture and get out from there. So now what I'm trying to do is set up uh, a leg lock attack. I decide to switch to uh, some type of leg lock and uh, Mike is able to come back on top, stopping me from getting the points and stopping me from doing the leg lock. And I'm going to grab that lapel and I want to set up that single leg X lapel, uh, the Anubis guard as Ganon Lang uh says in his instructional and I that's that's what I'm going for right there and now I'm setting up the De La Hiva I'm getting the lapel I want to bring that foot in and try to start working that single leg X position because that's my goal for this role and I'm trying to get my foot inside but he's doing a very good job of keeping my feet from uh, ever getting inside as you can see the time is running down there's about three seconds left and I'm still trying still trying to go for it still holding on to that lapel but I'm not able to capitalize on that and that is the end of the match ladies and gentlemen that is the end of the roll and I learned a valuable lesson on pulling guard so what did I learn during this role? Quite a few things. So it's okay to play new and interesting guards when you're doing your open mat or your live roles, especially with the upper belts. A lot of people tend to stick to their A games when they're doing their live rolling and stuff like that, which is okay if you're getting ready for competition or tournaments and stuff like that. But it's also okay to incorporate new and interesting guards and uh, techniques that you want to try out. Never be afraid to try something new because you're never going to know if it's going to fit into your game until you try it. Another thing that I learned if I'm going to pull guard, pull guard convincingly. Don't go into a combat stance. Don't be super slow. Don't do any of that nonsense. If you're going to pull guard, pull guard with uh, conviction. Uh, I usually try not to pull guard, but I really wanted to try out this Anubis guard uh, from Ganon Lang. And actually, if you watch the first few seconds of the video, I was able to set it up almost perfectly. And I was able to bring Mike, uh, Matt Enforcer Mike, to the ground. Uh, wasn't able to capitalize on the position, but... I was able to, you know, that was a small victory for me. That was, I, I wanted to just play that guard and I wanted to see how I could incorporate it into my game. And with practice, I will be able to to utilize that more effectively. As you can see, it was I was able to do it against a, a higher level uh, purple belt, uh, I'm sorry, brown belt, who's, at, who's really, really good. And that's just the little wins. Whenever you're rolling and doing open mat type stuff, always have goals. My goal was just simply to get into the guard, not try to go for a submission, not try to go for uh, uh, points or, or something, just get into the guard and figure it out in a live situation. And I was very, very happy that I was able to at least get that during the beginning of the match. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope to see you on the next one. Peace.